Guys, check it out. It's like 4.30 in the morning. I'm out here in Thornburg, VA, and it just stopped raining. Um, was going to get a hotel room. I had a good friend of mine who's going to finance and sponsor that for me. But, uh, you know, like when I got up here, it was like, give or take, wow, 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. And it just started raining, and I saw these homeless people walking. Um, actually, you know, like right up from the gas station that I was charging my cell phone at. Um, and just after looking at them and seeing what they did when it started raining, it just seemed like they just ran off into the woods um, going a separate direction. It was two guys and another lady. Uh, and I asked the gas station attendant, you know, what in the world, where, where in the world was they going? And um, he said, you know, they found a way to survive. And it kind of made me feel some type of way that it would be raining like that and, and people actually living out here in these conditions. Um, it's kind of bananas, so I, I told my homeboy, you know, please, you know, I, I'm cool. I'm going to go ahead and truck it outside. I figure, you know, that's, that's a lifestyle for them. That, that's what they have to do on a continuous basis to, to survive. I figure if I'm going to be out here for this while on this moratorium on selfishness walk, then I should, you know, boom, at least experience that so I can know how it feels firsthand. But, um, you know, it's kind of touching. It's, it's absolutely bananas. And I didn't have anything to give them when I did see them. But uh, if I would have, I promise you, it would have been a, a, a beautiful night for them. The guys, like 4:30 in the morning. Like I said, it just really stopped raining, and I still gotta make it over here to uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia, which I'm a little bit behind schedule. But uh, try to get about two hours of sleep, maybe even three hours of sleep. And tonight, I think I'm gonna make my home in this little spot. Try to make sure ain't nobody looking before I run up in here. But this is. Super Suds Corn Laundry. And ladies and gentlemen, they are open 24 hours a day. So I'm thinking to myself, got a little electricity to charge my cell phone and my earpiece. Uh, wow. And from out the elements, from fighting the elements, and it looks pretty safe in here. You know, this uh, laundry mat. Try to sit here and give me some shut eye. Find me a plug. Actually, plug in my cell phone. And um, wow, it's actually warm over here by these dryers. Old school. Guys, we're going to make it to DC. Uh, like I told y'all. When I left, I left with very, very, very little resources. I left Fayetteville, North Carolina with roughly about $60 in my pocket. Um, and I never expected all this weight loss. So, brother, definitely can't fit none of his clothes. But it's for a good purpose. Um, God has been good. So, guys, I'm going to try to give me some shut-eye be real discreet about this thing. I know the police is riding through here and uh, I really, really got to be careful. But I want y'all to all go to the website www.changeispossible.bravehost.com This is exactly what this walk about. You know, it's a lot of faith, determination. It's, it's going to take to change this country around and most of all sacrifice this sacrifice of me walking these almost 400 miles is the mark I want to leave sacrifice I want to make to show people that we all have what it takes I'm just an ordinary guy but I love y'all I'm gonna get a child later try to shut my eyes for a little second